First, let us understand the difference between money, currency, wealth, and abundance. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking they are all the same thing. Nothing could be further from the truth. Let us now redefine them. Clearly, we shall first distinguish between money and currency. Money and currency are almost exactly the same thing, but they have one important difference. You see, both money and currency have the following properties in common. Both are a medium of exchange, which means we use them to exchange value. Both are a unit of account, meaning we use them to keep records of transactions and amounts. Both are portable, meaning we can easily carry them in our pockets. Both are durable, meaning they don't easily rot or wither or die or otherwise get destroyed under normal conditions. Both are divisible, meaning you can break a $100 bill into $20 bills or $1 bills. Easily, both are fungible, interchangeable, meaning a dollar in my pocket is the same as a dollar in your pocket, so it doesn't make a difference which dollar you hold. Good, now, we have described their similarities. So now, let us describe the crucial difference between currency and money, and this is the most important thing for you to learn at this point. So please pay very close attention. The difference between money and currency is in their ability to store value. Yes, they can both exchange value, but can they both store value? Not at all. Money can store value, but currency cannot store value. Please listen carefully. For something to be classified as money, it must have all the characteristics we mentioned earlier. Plus it has to store value. For example, gold is money. Gold stores value. The same gold the Egyptians used 6,000 years ago can still buy something today. However, the paper currency the ancient Egyptians may have used 6,000 years ago is worthless today. 6,000 year old gold stores value, but 6,000 year old currency is useless paper. Another example of money is silver. Silver that is thousands of years old is still valuable today. That is money. Now, currency on the other hand, cannot store value. That is because of three main reasons. Reason number one, is that most currencies are based on debt. The US dollar is a debt-based currency. The Kenya shilling is a debt-based currency. The Australian dollar is a debt-based currency. The euro is a debt-based currency. The Mexican peso is a debt-based currency. The world's currencies are debt-based currencies. Almost all of them. And so, because of the interest rate attached to debt, they all lose value over time. Over time, the system always accumulates more debt than there is available currency to settle that debt. Reason number two, is that currencies are made of worthless material, such as paper, cheap metals like zinc, or simple records on a computer. Gold and silver have value in and of themselves, because they can be used to make many, many things, from electronics to jewelry. But the paper that the dollar or any other currency is printed on, is just paper. It has no value except the one the public agrees to give it. It is a confidence game that collapses the minute the confidence is shattered. Paper cannot store value. Reason number three, is that to store value, one requires a finite supply. If the supply is infinite, it is impossible to store value, as such. Now, gold is finite. Silver is finite. You cannot make more gold. You can only find more gold. That is why it is valuable and stores value. However, currencies are printed every day by banks. Every single day, there is more and more currency on this planet than there was the day before. It may not be in your pocket, but it is in the system. You see, this planet has an oversupply of currency. There are possibly about 3 to 5 trillion dollars worth of currency floating about on Earth. And only 2% of that is used for goods and services. This is what causes inflation, loss of purchasing power, and so on. That is why people feel that life is getting more expensive and harder by the day. Not because there is less currency, but because there is too much. It sounds crazy but that's actually the reason. A dollar today doesn't get you what it used to get you 10 years ago, or 20 years ago. So even though there are more dollars today, they are worth a tiny fraction of what they used to be. So now, let's get one thing clear. Money is not currency, and based on what we have seen so far, all currencies, including the US dollar, the euro, the Australian dollar, the Mexican peso, the Kenyan shilling, and just about all of the currencies of the world, are, by definition, not real money. So stop calling them money. Money stores value, like gold and silver. Your salary, your income, is paid to you in currency, not money. 
So now we have clarified the difference between money and currency. Now you can no longer be fooled and told you are being paid money. Well in truth, you are being paid currency. And now, let's consider the difference between wealth and abundance. These are simpler to define. Wealth is your time, your health and your freedom. Period. That's it. Your time, health and freedom, is your true wealth. Abundance, on the other hand, is life itself. It is everything that happens in your life, and in life as a whole. Abundance literally encompasses everything, including what you call scarcity. The manifestation of scarcity is made possible by abundance itself. Abundance is infinite. It literally produces everything. Abundance is a function and characteristic of life itself, of light, of love. Life creates infinitely. There is no such thing as scarcity. There is only apparent scarcity. Abundance cannot be owned or cornered or restricted. Literally, the statement ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you, is the definition of abundance. Your thoughts and emotions automatically create your reality, whether those thoughts are positive or negative. And all this is powered by the abundance of nature, which is to say, you are abundance. You are abundance itself, and abundance is everything, both positive and negative. It is your choice as to what you pull out of the field of unlimited abundance to be your personal experience. And so now we understand that abundance is the universe itself and everything in it, and how it also responds to your beliefs, your thoughts and emotions, to co-create your reality. Abundance doesn't mean more currency, although it could mean that, if that is your choice. Abundance doesn't require currency to even exist. It can create entire worlds and universes and all sorts of life experience without requiring a single dollar bill. What abundance requires is not currency, or money, or hard work and suffering. Abundance is not earned. Abundance only is. Abundance is a state of being. You cannot earn beingness. You can only be, or not be. And therefore, what abundance requires is self-mastery, self-knowledge, heart-mind balance, which means thought and emotional mastery which in turn requires awakening the unconscious aspects of yourself and growing, and that requires an open mind and emotional vulnerability. And so here is the big secret. The secret is that money and currency are not the source of your wealth. Money and currency is not the source of your abundance. Money and currency are simply a tool, and they are optional, which means life itself does not require them. The human being is the only creature on earth that pays to be here, and it is the only creature that earns a living. Yet it is we, ourselves, who set it up that way. But it doesn't have to be that way. Money and currency are tools, and they are not even a required tool. It is possible to have a highly advanced society, with advanced technology and mastery of resources, and abundance for all, that doesn't use currency at all. And most definitely, debt is not required at all. For life to work, you can eliminate debt 100% from the planet, and society will continue to exist and do so even better. Life doesn't require debt. Debt is an enslavement mechanism. There is absolutely no reason at all to have debt-based monetary systems, except for the purposes of enslavement of the masses. The debt equals base currency system is designed to take away your real wealth, which is your time and freedom, and give you currency in exchange, which is just worthless paper, debt and computer numbers. You are giving away your real wealth, your time and freedom, in exchange for currencies, which are paper, computer numbers and debt, and no one is paying you any real money, which is gold and silver. Can you see this? And the reason why this works this way is because this currency is a debt based and issued by privately owned banks. We shall look at that in the next video and clarify how this system works. For now, it is important to see through the lie. You see, the earth has enough resources to solve most of our problems and to do so ecologically without destroying the earth. We simply have to switch from our current debt-based death economy, to a new monetary system that is based on positive life principles. Unfortunately, privately issued debt-based currencies and their politics are actually an interference. They are not an enabler. They are not part of the solution. They are part of the problem. Debt-based, privately issued currencies, which are almost all the world's currencies, actually limit our ability and limit our dreams. Money is good, but the current monetary system is corrupting it. Imagine the possibilities of an unprecedented global mobilization of scientific and technical alliances aimed toward global problem solving. 
without the interference of privately issued currencies or politics. Imagine such a mobilization to initiate global unification and restoration. A total, global, systems approach to all our challenges, without the interference of power-based divisive politics or debt-based currencies and banking. This could easily enable a high standard of living for all mankind. And it can be done, if we, the people of the earth, say so. The earth has the capacity for it, as long as we are willing, we, the united people of earth, are the one true superpower, all of us, united we stand, divided we fall, and it starts with the desire, the intention, to be so, don't buy into the lie that it will never happen, it will, do your part by making up your mind, your positive desire for it, your supporting intention for it, and in the next video, we shall look at a new type of monetary system that is debt free, ensures global equal access for all mankind transcends national politics, is not owned by any private institutions or countries, stores value instead of creating inflation, and fosters global cooperation instead of manipulation, suppression, and enslavement. Thank you for having watched this video. This video is part of the new money revolution video series, which takes you through the consciousness revolution and the monetary revolution we need to undergo to finally enjoy true freedom and abundance, true wealth both personally as individuals and globally as the united citizens of earth, in ways that are harmonious and healing to the planet and the environment. This series has 12 videos in total. Please make sure you watch all of them, in the right order. Thank you. Please share these videos as far and as wide as possible. This is a consciousness revolution, first and foremost. It is a change of mind, and a change of heart. And it only works when the idea spreads far and wide. The more you share these videos, the more this new reality manifests. This is your revolution, and your participation is very important. We need at least 33 million people to watch these videos for them to reach a tipping point. Critical mass, whereby these ideas begin to take a life of their own in the collective consciousness of Earth. So please do share them as much as possible, everywhere you can think of sharing them. And feel free to download your own copy, too for offline viewing and safekeeping. Thank you. Please help us translate the subtitles and captions for these videos into other languages. It is very easy to do, using YouTube's community translation page. We have already added the English subtitles and captions to these videos. So all you have to do is type in the translated words and the subtitles and captions and YouTube will automatically handle all the technical stuff. It is all very easy. Simply translate the words. We have provided the translation link below in the video description. Thank you. All these videos have been subtitled with closed captions. This makes it easier for you to follow along. To see the subtitles, please click on the CC button on the video. As more people translate these videos, the subtitles will become available in multiple languages. To complement these videos and launch you into rapid success and a deeper understanding of the new Earth consciousness. We also have the following free, illustrated, multimedia PDFs for you. To download yours free, simply click on the download now free button, and you will have instant access to them. And if you wish to master these concepts in a fast, easy and entertaining yet enlightening way, have a look at our courses. We have 38 courses and growing, some of which are free, and some of which come with a free trial. They literally are mind-blowing yet effective and practically useful in your life today. To start your free trial, simply click on the free trial button, and you'll have instant access to them. If you haven't watched the rest of the videos in this series, please go ahead now, and remember to share them. Thank you very much for your time, and we wish you a very great day.